Hey guys, it's Elbething back here with another guide for Cuphead, the DLC that has just dropped yesterday. This time we're gonna be doing one of the airplane little levels, which are always kind of tricky, and this time it is really no exception. We are gonna be discussing the high noon hoopla for you guys, and uh, well, let's get to it and let's make sure that we provide sufficient help. Now, first things first. Before you get into this uh, boss fight, you should absolutely, absolutely equip the twin hearts so you have 5 HP. That's going to be of immense help. And you might feel at the beginning of this uh, boss fight that you are overwhelmed. Too many things are happening all at once, but I am here to help you. Now, let us rewind just a little bit. So, this boss fight is always, always going to begin with her shooting her <laughs> snake oil shooters and with a little donkey thing flying across the screen. Now, when this starts, especially when you see her whip out these two shooters of hers, just go to the left of the screen. And uh, when you're dodging, make sure you're dodging only along the horizontal axis. Believe me, with this, you are more than capable of dodging everything that comes your way. Just like that. Obviously, I had to adjust there for a second with the little, what was its name, like a little vulture that throws the dynamite. Uh, but this is going to be situational and completely, completely up to you. With small little tweaks going up and down, you will have absolutely no problems here. Now, when you see her appear in the lower part, this is where you should be switching to bombs. Just like that. Dish out a few, dodge everything else, go back to the left side. Uh, she's going to be whipping out the twin shooters, rinse and repeat. Now, in this scenario, it is quite possible that uh, she's going to be in the upper floor of the saloon and she's going to be pulling out the cactus, you know, on the upper part of the screen. So that will naturally make you go down. And at this moment, you might actually see that the little vulture with the dynamite is coming. Do not panic. If you stay down close to the floor, dynamite will not hit you. The burst, you know, is all going upwards. So have no fear in regards to that. And here we have the second phase. When this starts, make sure you are standing somewhere here, pretty much in the middle, because this is gonna uh, give you, well, pretty much clear view of the entire situation of all the things she is sucking up, because all of these things are coming like from a cone backwards. The cone keeps shrinking, obviously, the closer it gets to the vacuum cleaner and the more <laughs> the cone shrinks, the higher the chances are that you will be get hit. So this is why you have to stay right there and you just have this clear view of all the things that are flying and you still have plenty of time to maneuver all of it. And this is even without just uh, using the dodging where you get really, really tiny. And uh, then the next thing are the falling safes. So here we mostly dodge along the vertical axis. Obviously, again, adjusting your position left and right as needed. But uh, you have to, if you can, keep an eye out on the falling safes. Uh, whichever one falls the first is pretty much going to be homing on you. So it's like up left, up right, up left. Just if you can if you can keep an eye out on uh, these things, it's going to make this very, very much easier. Now, it really isn't a hard boss fight. Now, you can tell here I already have my uh, super meter completely filled, and I'm not still using it. This is uh, entirely up to you. You will probably be able to fill it up again, but I didn't. Just to show you that this really is so, so manageable. Now, this particular phase right here might be the bane for most, but if you stop to think about it, it is actually quite simple as well. A lot of things are moving, she flies up and down, and it just feels like all of these weird movements are screwing with your eyes and you just can't keep up. But if you take a deep breath, maybe a little bit more experience on this thing, 
you will notice just how easy it is. When she goes down, this is your perfect opportunity to switch to bombs again and just dish out a really nice chunk of damage again. Now, stay about here. Don't go too close because these uh, cans are still going to be flying your way, but it's still something that you can dodge. She's going to be shooting these uh, pieces of meat that you absolutely can dodge yet again. And we're not, I'm not even using the dodging yet. I'm not even becoming tiny to escape these things. And there we go. Now, in this phase, you can tell we made it all the way here with 4 HP. 4 HP. It could have been 5. Got hit really, really silly. This phase... At this point, <laughs> you might feel a little bit exhausted. You might feel like your emotions are getting a little bit uh, better of you. Maybe, you know, this is this is it. This is the end. And uh, especially if you've been trying way too many times, you will feel a little bit exhausted. Maybe even utilize the pause button. But I suggest strongly against that because it's going to take you out of the moment. Now, just keep shooting at the beginning. And then just do this. Going up to the boss, like I did right here, right above, is absolutely an option. Even though, on a rare occasion, if you do this too much, the cans are still going to start flying. But, back to the super that I have built up. Now, you might use this for a source of your, you know, to finish it off, source for more damage, but it is also a very good defensive move. Now, you can tell here, no matter what I do, I would get hit. So I sacrificed my uh, super to just not get hit. Nothing else. Nothing else. And now we are in a very commanding position. You just go up and down, adjust forward again, getting tiny as needed. Just go through the sausages. And up to the boss like this, switching uh, to the bombs. And that is going to be it. Now, mind you, you still have 4 HP here. So you really can afford to get hit, just like I did. And there you go. That is the boss fight, guys. It's going to be very, very easy. Stay calm. No panic. You got this. I believe in you. And, well, maybe let me know if this has helped. There's going to be more guides on the channel. I already uploaded some. Maybe check it out. And if this helped you, well, maybe help me back and drop a little sub for me. Hang around. We'll have fun. Guys, see you in the next one.